this is one of the oldest existent mills in the city. That building there may not be the original building, but there was, there's something here going back to 1600s. We tell them it's at, next to the Wissahickon transfer stop of the SEPTA um, bus line. And you go down a little driveway all the way to the end, and there you see this huge, um, over 100-year-old historical clubhouse. There's a couple guys, uh, Dr. Boone. Um, anyway, they, they were thinking about starting a canoe club. They, uh, they went to the city and got a lease and, and fixed it up. That was 1905. Uh, In the beginning, it was a big racing club, and it was men only. And then... Um, I think in the 40s it was a drinking club <laughs> and some people say during Prohibition which would have been in the 20s that it, they had a distillery down in the bilge you know and a little trap door in the kitchen where they could go down and they had a bar set up down there anyway they kicked out the drinkers and the canoers the paddlers came in and uh, turned it into an, a racing club again and then eventually that, that kind of faded and then it became a recreational paddling club. It still is. I think right about now we have about, 100 and, about 180 active resident members. The club um, teaches and runs trips in flatwater kayaking, flatwater canoeing, and whitewater canoeing and kayaking, as well as sea kayaking. Well, right now we do have a lot of boats in here because we're building a new boat shed, so this is the only place we had to store the boats while the boat shed's under construction. I started paddling around 46 years ago when my mother, unbeknownst to my dad, on Christmas Eve, spirited this 15-foot Grumman canoe into our living room after dad had gone to bed. At 4.30 in the morning, I went down to see what Santa had left and went screaming back up the steps, Santa brought us a boat! What keeps me coming back to this club is, is that water and this water and these people. We all share one thing in common. There's, this is a diverse group. There's all kinds of people here. Lawyer, every, there's all walks of life, but they all have one thing in common, and that is they love being on the water. I started out as a dragon boat paddler, and my first experience in the water has been from a racing perspective. And this past year I had the opportunity to test and to make the U.S. national dragon boat team and had the opportunity to go to Prague in the Czech Republic and paddle. Okay, this was a Hurricane Floyd in 1999. Naturally, we're subject to flood. The coolest thing is inside, the, 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 the height of the water from the different floods, there's a post in there, and, the, and the, the, the water gets, I would be underwater in some of these floods, where I am right now. I think when I first came here, it seemed like we were getting numbers and people were like banging on the doors to get in. Uh, I don't see that anymore. We need some young blood in here and uh, to give the club a shot in the arm and give it a future. It's been a real bond for me. It's the best club I've ever been in. I'm not a big joiner of clubs, but this, this place is something special. Uh, I had two daughters married here. It, it feels like, um, like a home, a second home. And I hope that the Canoe Club, the spirit of the Canoe Club can live on for another 500 years. <laughs> <laughs>